Hi everybody. Welcome back. I got this done in the previous video and this is the fourth panel. So just to refresh you, that was the first panel I did. And I did this panel, the flowy dress. <clears throat> and then I did this one. Not, I'm not going to add anything to that. I really like it. I could put some beads in here. It's a thought. I, I don't know if I will. This one's already heavily beaded. And that one has no beads. So, I don't know. I did the bottom today. Well, last night. I did, I found some blue ticking. Which, this is my very last piece of blue ticking. So, I need to find some more. But... Every time I look in Joann's, our Joann's doesn't have the blue. They have the gray, but they don't have any blue. So I think I got this at Walmart, maybe. Um, I had to go looking for some blue fabric to make the feet, <laughs> my little Suffolk puffs out of, my yo-yos. So I found this in my stash, and that's what I used for the um, yo-yos which are the feet for the bottom and I just like to have that extra because that's going to get all the wear and tear and as those wear down you know I can like mend them stitch them whatever if I'm around long enough to do that <laughs> and never know so I have to do the fourth panel today oh my I'm in a conundrum about what to do with it I really do feel like that's like a flower and like these could be flowers, but I'm not sure I'm talented enough to really add to that. So I think this panel is going to look a little more like the first panel I did. Something more along these lines. Um, just because I think, I don't know. I'm just not sure what else to do with it. So... Yeah. Yep. Don't know. <laughs> I'm going into this with no plan. <laughs> so I need to um, get some threads and maybe some lace or maybe some. I had a, yeah, there's this lace. I think I'll use that. Um, there's that thread, there's that thread, and there's that thread I've been using. I like this. I found this in my stash yesterday. Not that, but this. Um, so it kind of goes nicely with that. So I think I'm going to maybe incorporate some of this. I'm just not positive how. So we'll have to play with that. So I'm going to put all this stuff on my table beside me. Put that back down there. I don't think there's anything else in my box that I want to use, but let me look. Um, there's that, but I've already used a big piece of that, so I don't think I'll use that. This is all I have left of that blue ticking. This is different. This is much lighter fabric. This is really, really thin. I mean, you can literally see the sunshine through it. So it's very thin. It looks like ticking, but it's not as heavy. Um, let's see. Blues, but not really blues I want to use. That went with that pack. Of course, I have some more indigo fabric, but I'm hoarding it because it's all I've got. There's, oh, I should have made the feet out of that. That would have been a good thing. This is a part of a dish towel. I could have made the feet out of that. Oh, well. C'est la vie. <laughs> Such is life. And then I've got my ice-dyed fabric here. Oop, there's another little, little tiny piece of the good. 
that's some of this other fabric here. Some more of my ice dyed fabric. Don't love that. That's commercial fabric. Now I have some of these little pieces I tore off previously, but I didn't like any of them on the first panel. That's not the good stuff. That's the other stuff from the fat quarter pack I bought. I've got that. I've got that. Hmm. I don't know. So that's all I've got left of that nice blue ticking. Gotta find me some more. But I do like this fabric here. And maybe I need to work off that. And this lace, maybe, oh, I know what I could do. I did not plan on this being a long video. So <laughs> I've got to get, get going here. Um, where is, maybe I could take one of the small flowers off of here or a couple of them and enhance the the flowers that are that I'm seeing in the fabric maybe that's what I'll do okay maybe a plan is coming together here let me pull this put all that over there and then like I feel like that's a flower if I let that show and maybe I could put a lace flower like that one there so I could do that. Yeah. I think that's the only, is that the only small flower on this panel? I don't know if that's a flower. I feel like that's, uh-oh. <laughs> There's one there and one there. Okay. We are going to cut into this. I'm going to move this because you know what will happen if I don't. <laughs> I know what will happen if I don't. I'll be really sorry I didn't move it. Hmm. Do I want to go up around that? Thanks to others that I watch for making me brave in showing me how to look at a large panel and not be overwhelmed by it. I don't know if I want to go up around that or not. I'm going to. Ugh, gosh. My wrist does not bend like that. I'm not sure it ever did, but it sure doesn't anymore if it did. Okay. So I hope this finds everybody well. Seems weird for me not to say... This is day such and such. Oh, here's some pretty little ones. Look. Of the 100 day project. <laughs> Seems pretty strange, but I am enjoying the time off from it. And that's okay. I'm good with that. I got to do what makes me happy and makes me feel good and... I am doing well taking time off from that project. Being done with it. Okay. I think I'm going to work with that. And I'm going to reach down here. Sorry. So I am planning out a project that I would love if you wanted to play along with me, it would um, be something that would take time to do. I know a lot of people are working on the um, Sarah and Rachel Roxy Creations project, and I don't want to like, I don't know, butt into that, and I'm not trying to. Um, but it's a project that I think could be done 
over a time frame. And I'm thinking so that I'm not like, um, I don't know the right word. That's why I'm silent. I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you wanted to play along with me, you might feel like your plate is already full because of that, because of the other project. And that's fine. I get it. Um, you know, there's no competing with them, that's for sure. <laughs> and I don't plan on competing with them. That's not what it's about. But, you know, when people are already gung-ho on a project like that, I know their prompts are every two weeks, so I wonder if I could do, like, my idea every other week from the ones they do every two weeks. I don't know if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, so that's my thought process. So I will get a video together to explain that. And anybody who wants to play along is absolutely more than welcome. But if you don't and I'm doing this on my own, then that's fine. I mean, I'm here by myself anyway. I like to think you all are out there stitching along with me or getting ideas or making journals or sewing on your sewing machine or whatever it is you're doing. Um, I like to think you're at least out there with me. Okay. That's close enough. This goes back down here. And even though I had the Oort can here, look at the mess I made. <laughs> and I put it there so I won't have all these fuzzies here, but I failed. But that's okay. So, yeah, my project is going to be um, different, but similar. But it's going to be about using up. Um, supplies that you might have and that you, look at that, that's almost the shape of that. So I'm going to put that, I want to, I want to blend this in. Let me look and see what side this goes on. These are so hard to tell sometimes. I'm going to put that there. Nope, that's going there. And then that'll go up there. And that'll go over there. And then, I'm not sure I have these turned the right way. Let me look. Goodness gracious. So hard to tell. Mm. I think that's the right way. And I think that's the right way. Is it? Goodness. No, I think that's the right way. Okay. All right. And then... I would really like to incorporate this piece in there, so maybe maybe like that. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> It's a conundrum. It is. It is. Hmm. 
Anywho, so today is really warm. I'm sorry, I know I went like blank on you there. Just because I'm I'm thinking. We'll just go for a small piece here. And this might not even work in this piece at this moment. Boo! At this point. Moment, point, whatever you want to say. And try and sort of fray these. More stuff flying everywhere. Go, Martha. <laughs> Make a mess. Make a mess. Yeah, I hope you're all well. It's um, very hot. It's like 90. And then tomorrow's going to bring supposedly, hopefully, because we need it, some rain. And then now see, I don't feel like that I feel like it gets lost with the background on there. So maybe that's not going to happen. Alright. And maybe these, maybe there's too many. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down first. I'm going to put that right next to that. I think just like that. Sit. Stay. All right. All this stuff's going over that. All righty. Now, thread. <laughs> Next. This needle might be too big. Yep. That's going to be too big. So, yes, very warm here. Um, we went out this morning. It was still cool enough this morning to go out and took the van out for its weekly ride. And we went grocery shopping, hit up two stores. And we um, got everything we needed very quickly and came home. And I hadn't eaten breakfast. Wasn't feeling 100% this morning, so. We, um, I ate. It was like 11.30. And then Tony came in. He was doing a bunch of things outside. The horse blanket needed washing. And, um, he cleans off the van because it gets sap from the trees that it sits under and other stuff like that so um, when he was done with that he came in this was after we put all the groceries away but there weren't that many I mean we just run out of some fresh stuff now and then you know avocados and tomatoes and Stuff like that. And I made a tomato sauce last night, so I used up all the small tomatoes. It's very good. I must say so myself. It was wonderful. Let's get these little pieces down here in the edges. And... I uh, did some research for my project and came to some conclusions and put a plan together. And I think it's going to be fun. I think it'll be something interesting to do. Um, I don't feel like I'm really taking anybody else's idea per se. I mean, I know probably back in 20, I can't remember if it was 2002, something like that. Um, somebody did a similar project. And if you Google it or go on YouTube or whatever, there are other people who have done similar projects to what I'm doing. But 
I'm sort of wanting to do this for myself and to, you know, hopefully make things a little more interesting for at least a few weeks. It would be seven weeks, um, but if I did it every other week, then it'd be 14 weeks, and that is a long time. So I don't know that I want to spread it out that long. Um, I have to look on a calendar and see what that is, because otherwise I would have to do all my videos ahead of time if, because that would definitely, 4, 8, 12, so it's June, July, August, September. It would run into September. I guess I could do those videos ahead of time. I'm not, you know, I'd be okay with June, July, August, but we're already into June now. And I haven't even put the, the thing together. Well, I have on paper. But um, anyway... I, I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to do it soon because I need to get it started. And I don't know if anybody would be interested in joining me or not. So anyway, um, I'm going to do it. And I'll probably, if, if, I don't know, I might do one a week just because I'll want to, you know, have something to work on. And that'll be my project. I may not even put it out there as like prompts for anybody else or stuff like that. I, I may just do this project on my own and um, just do it in parts. But the prompts are there for me to use because I needed the ideas anyway. So, yeah. I will put it on video and let you all know what that is. And then if I get responses back where people would like to play along, then maybe we'll make it a prompt thing. But meanwhile, I'm going to be probably making a few more of these. If you go to Suzy Q Makes on YouTube, she made one, blames me for it. But, you know, I'm not the one who started this. It's all Corinne's fault <laughs> for getting me hooked on these. But she made a cute little one to hold her sewing clips. And I think I'm going to make, um, I don't know if they'll end up being Japanese rice bags. I think I'm going to make little, I like the method of putting them together with the, the five squares. So it would be much smaller than this one. And... I have clips like that too, so I thought that'd be fun to... Martha, what did you do? Way over there. What are you doing going over there? <laughs> Just to tie the knot, silly girl. So, um, the, you know, I want to make some small ones because small ones are good, but I also love my two that I've already made as project bags, and this will be the third. So I guess I need to move on to something else. I just, other than this project that I have in my brain, I don't know what it would be, but I don't want to just work on this project myself and wait two weeks to work on it again. I'm just not that patient. So now that I'm talking it out with you and I'm hearing it out loud, my thought processes, then I think um, maybe... All right, what I do with them? Um, maybe I'll just do it as a project, and anybody who wants to play along can do it in your own time frame. I think that's the best scenario. I don't know if I like this one. It's like distorted. Mm, I could put it there. I guess I could do that. This looks weird <laughs> to me. Oh my gosh. 
we bought a watermelon while we were out. One of those mini ones because Tony, Tony helped try to eat the last one, but I mean, I can only eat so much food in a day, you know? And it, we had a little left over and it got thrown away after a week. So I didn't want to, I try not to get them too big. And I keep seeing that the best way to choose a watermelon is you get one, we, we just get the small round personal watermelons, like two person watermelons or something. Anyway, we picked one of those up and um, I saw some videos that say to pick the best, I guess if the light was closer, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? I'm sorry. I apologize. Nothing like being halfway through. Oh, look, there's what she's working on. Um, the best way to pick a watermelon to make sure it's sweet is that the, not the stem end, but the little bum end is, um, the tinier, the, the little round thing on the bottom, the better. But when you only have so many watermelon to choose from, you pick the one you can. So the last one, I don't know, it wasn't that flavorful. Like it wasn't that sweet and it wasn't that flavorful. And it had a really tiny, teeny tiny bum end on it. So um, this one I got and it was a little bit bigger because I couldn't find, I found the smallest one I could as far as the end, the non-stem end. And um, it's a little better. It's a little more ripe. Almost a little too ripe. So, but you're also supposed to look for the ones that have a yellow, you know, a yellow patch on it because that's the side that laid against the ground. And um, that's supposed to help. So I guess this one's a little better, but what I should have done was waited and we could have gone to the farmer's market tomorrow. It's supposed to rain tomorrow afternoon. Nope. <laughs> Shoot. It's supposed to be Cloudy in the morning, possible thunderstorms in the afternoon with rain showers, which we do need, so that's okay. I don't have any real plans for tomorrow, but Come on, behave. Thank you. But the sun is shining today. That's always important for me. It keeps my mood up. My sleep has been really disrupted lately. Just really weird. But the moon was very, very bright last night. And I have blackout curtains in my, in, in the bedroom. But there's like a little gap at the bottom. And I saw light shining through. And sometimes our deck um, has a, like a uh, motion detector light on it. And sometimes that shines, so I can't always tell what it is. And I wasn't sure what phase the moon was in. So I got up and looked, and sure enough, that it was like a spotlight in the sky, that's for sure. I don't think it's a full moon yet, but hopefully when that all passes, I will be able to... Oops. I will be able to... Oh, I just got another idea. 
for for my project. Ooh, that would be fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to write that down before I forget it. I hope I don't forget it by the end of the video. That one up there. Yes. See, it's coming together. I think sometimes I just can't over plan it or overthink it in the beginning. Ow. We watched two DVDs last night, and yes, we still have DVDs, you know, old dog, new tricks. And I'm glad that we didn't get rid of everything and just decide that we could stream everything because our, our um, internet went out last night. So <laughs> we were watching a show from the DVR that we had recorded, and it wouldn't let us exit the show. And that was interesting. And then the outage lasted, it was probably maybe 45 minutes. So Tony had, um, maybe a week ago, had brought the DVR player up and hooked it up to the TV. We just hadn't used it yet. And yes, we watch way too much TV, and I know a lot of you don't even have TVs anymore in your homes, but we like our shows, so I'm not going to apologize for it. And we um so so we couldn't watch anything. And there's not really a whole lot on right now because they're in between seasons. And it used to be you had to go all summer before you saw new shows. Back in the old days. Of course, now they come out with shows in the summer and shows in the winter and all that. So it's, um, you know, there's usually something to watch or record and watch. Mm. Is this one just too much? I don't think it is. I think we'll just put it up there. And again, so hard to tell. It's really distorted. <laughs> anyway, so we watched August Rush. And I really like August Rush, the movie. And um, I love the music in it. And I like Freddie Highmore. And Freddie Highmore plays the kid in the movie. And there's a part that Robin Williams plays. But the Robin Williams part is really, like, pretty whacked out out of character for a lot of what Robin did, although he was an amazing actor and comedian. And I miss him, his energy. And um, Carrie Russell, who we've been watching in a show called The Diplomat. I think it's on Netflix, I think. It's either Netflix or Prime. But anyway, um, we watched the, I don't know, six or eight shows that were on of that. And so, you know, it's one of those things they show eight of them and then they have to get renewed and film the new ones and all that stuff. So that's supposed to come back at some point. And so that was cool. And Freddie Highmore 
is on a show on television on one of the network channels that is um, called The Good Doctor. And he plays an autistic person. So, um, it's interesting watching him as a child. He doesn't have a huge speaking part in August Rush, which I find interesting. But he didn't need to speak a lot. But he had to sort of practice his American accent back when he was however old he was when he made that movie. I mean, I don't know if he was 12. I don't think he was 15, but I'd have to look it up. But anyway, excellent job. Really good music. Um, cool story. And so even though we watched that now, do I... Do I enhance that or not? I'm going to try. This is going to be a longer video than I wanted it to be. I've enjoyed making the shorter videos, but sometimes if I had been prepared with what I wanted to do on this, it would have been a different story. But um, since there wasn't anything else that we were interested in watching, and we've been extremely spoiled by... Um, DVRing everything <laughs> and watching it and fast forwarding through commercials. We, um, I wonder if I went around that blue. I'm going to try that. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll try this blue. Um, since we didn't have anything else to watch, Tony popped in another video and he didn't ask, I mean, he asked what I wanted to watch, and I'm like, whatever. I don't like sitting around watching TV at night, but I was working on my the bottom of the bag. And so I, uh, yeah, I was like watching and listening, and we've seen these movies before. I mean, like I said, we have them on DVD. Right into my finger. And this one got me at the same time. So that's coming out. So he popped in. Um, oops. Drumline. And that movie has Nick Cannon in it. And he was ever so young. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I like that movie too because it's really cool watching the drums and the story is good and he sort of learns that, you know, the world isn't all about him. And it's just, just, I enjoy the movie. There's no real violence in it. There's not a bunch of sex in it. So, yeah. I enjoy it. So that was fun to watch. And then it was way past bedtime. It was like 1030. But I haven't been sleeping well anyway, as I said. And so I just came in the bedroom, tried to go to sleep. But as I said earlier, I made sauce to go over the brown rice pasta we eat and I used one too many sun-dried tomatoes in the sauce. My stomach was not having it. So that happened. So it was about 1 15 by the time I fell asleep and I slept until 5.45ish I think or 6. Maybe it was 6.30. I don't remember. And then got up and I knew I had to stay awake after that because 
we were going grocery shopping. And so I got up, but did not feel like eating breakfast. Not hungry. And most mornings I wake up starving. So it's pretty unusual for me to wake up and not be hungry. And then I listened to Corinne talk about how cold it is there right now. I don't think that's the direction I was going in, is it? I guess it is. <laughs> is it? Do you know? I think I meant to go up that way, but oh well. That's okay. This is good. Just sort of following the blue lines in this, and I like it. Like, I like doing this better than covering up the white with thread. Just sort of highlighting. Outlining, sort of, kind of. Oops. Don't go through the knot. Not what I wanted. Not, 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 not. Yep, I'm glad I went this, this route with this. Doing the, the blue and following kind of the blue lines instead of like trying to follow the white and make like petals with white thread. I didn't, that really wasn't appealing to me, but I do like this. So, and some of them are very faint. Like I can just see this line coming up this way. So I'm going to just go with that. Oh, I want to do more indigo dyeing. I was researching that today on the computer and uh, real indigo dyeing is a lot of work. So I think I'm just going to have to save my pennies and try to do one of the shorter classes up at Artistic Artifacts again and just go and take all my fabric and somehow mark my fabric with my initials or with a certain thread or something like that. I don't know, run black thread through all my fabric or something. Pre-stitch it all and just keep an eye on it and take the shorter indigo dye class and then then I'll have more indigo dyed fabrics which is really what I want I just love this blue just love it and I have so many ideas for fabrics, different fabrics I could take with me and do. So, yeah, that's going to have to be on the agenda at some point. Even if it's not this summer, might end up having to be next summer, but I'm going to shoot for it. I would not do the full day class again, but I would definitely want to dye some more fabric. Meanwhile, back at the back at the ranch, I think I will. Okay, do I want to do? I'll do some writ dyeing, and I've been trying to research that too. 
not just the ice dyeing, but I would like to figure out if the jar dyeing would work. So that's something I'm going to have to look into and see. I think I'm just going to have to experiment with it because I can't find anything. But it would just be a similar method to the ice dyeing, just in a jar instead. Whoa. Weird. It's like it's getting dark out all of a sudden, but it's not. Must be a big cloud going over somewhere. But the sun is still shining on my deck, even though it seemed like it was getting dark. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I'm messing this up now. That was weird because I skipped that area. Itty bitty stitch. All right, well, I'm going to keep stitching on this and I'll turn you back on and show you when I'm done. So I'm back and this is what I've done with the panel. I did attach this and I really like it because it looks older and worn even though it's not. And some of the indigo lace. These, I did little tiny French knots in them. I couldn't find the beads that I wanted to use in them, so I did a couple there, a couple there, a couple there. I did some in the holes around here and a couple there and outlined this flower. I did a lot of seed stitching, hold it up close, and, <coughs> excuse me, so that... I think is done. I don't think I'm going to do anything else, although I did consider either embroidering a word here or stamping a word on other fabric and putting it in there. I might embroider the word bloom. It's a thought in my head. I don't know. Right there on this fabric. Might do that. Not crazy about this panel. I have to admit it's not one of my favorites. However, I started working on this panel with some beads. Now these beads, if you can just, I'm gonna zoom in and move this over. These beads are size 11 beads. They're extremely tiny. I'm using a sewing needle instead of a beading needle because I do have to get through this um, rather tough, um, piece of interfacing plus the muslin plus this plus the lace. So I am using a regular needle, not a beading needle, but this, if I turn the light off, they actually almost show up better. So I don't know if you can see them, but they're sparkly. I don't know if that's better or not. Anyway, <laughs> In person, it looks really great. So I am very pleased with it. Um, anything that is a bit sparkly makes me happy. And I'm just sort of trying to follow the line of the swirls in the flower. I think that's a rose. And I'm just going to finish this off. This will probably take, it's three o'clock. It'll probably take me the rest of this evening to finish beading this the way I want it. And then um, I'm going to put the four panels together and uh, with a lining. I haven't done the lining yet. The lining is not going to be the indigo fabric. It's going to be something else. I'm just not 100% sure what. I have a feeling it's going to be one of the fabrics. Here, I can reach it from here. I mean, I'm just now thinking this, so I'm not sure, but oh, yeah. I think it's going to be this fabric. Oh, I don't want to knock all those beads over. I've already lost a few. That would go really well with it. I think it's got this, the variations of blue in here, and it's got the flowers, um, of course. <laughs> and I think this will make a really pretty lining. I got this as part of the fabric to dye. Um which I didn't use from the artistic artifacts. And it's a yard of full width 
fabric. More than enough. I'll have plenty of this left over. So I think this is going to be my lining. I'm going to try and put a pocket in it. Um, I think I would like to make this the bag that I use um, if I'm going somewhere and I want to take my scissors and my needle book and threads with me. And then maybe a project would also fit in there. It's going to be fairly big. I mean, it's going to be six by six. So I was surprised how big the other Japanese rice bags turned out being six by six. I can fit a, a nice size project in there, or I can take one of the other bags and have the project and all the fabrics and stuff I want to use in the other bag and have all my sewing stuff and the threads in this bag. But I thought I might try to make a pocket where it's deep enough that the scissors will slide in and just narrow enough. Like I use these scissors most of the time. So those would fit inside and just have it just narrow enough to fit the scissors, but deep enough so that they're in there and they're not like flying out, flopping around and all that stuff. Um, could always put another pocket on another side panel. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure of anything yet. But anyway, so when it's all done and it's all sewn together, that's that'll be the last installment when I come back and I show you. So I hope that you um, have enjoyed this project. I know I skipped around a bit, but I really, you know, wasn't sure what I was doing. But this this panel is my favorite by far. And I'm so glad I went with it and that I'm beating it. I'm really liking the beating too. So I'll be back to show you the finished project. Um, not at the end of this video. It'll be a separate video. And I also have a treasure hunt haul. Sneak peek. Um, that we went and did. And so I'm going to, I think, try the Roxy creations stitch along challenge maybe <laughs> I'm headed that way but I also have a project of my own that I want to do that maybe you want to gather some supplies and um, join in and that'll be a separate video as well thank you everybody for being here I appreciate it I love you all I really am grateful that you're here with me hope you're having fun and I will see you on the next one Take care, everybody. Bye.